Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be looking at Nux Auth's REST API endpoints, specifically this provider endpoint. As you can see here, they all are prepended with base path. Here we can see the base path is API slash auth, but it can be configured. If you're curious what each of these endpoints do, you can actually click into this to see the documentation through next auth, and it goes a bit deeper into each endpoint. You can programmatically sign in, programmatically get your OAuth, sign out, things of that nature. But the one I want to work on today is actually this endpoint, auth providers. Return a list of configured OAuth services and details alongside their sign-in and callback URLs for each service. It's useful to dynamically generate custom sign-up pages and to check what callback URLs are configured, et cetera, et cetera. So what that means that we're gonna be doing is, um, right now we have a login with GitHub button. I wanna create you know, the list of multiple buttons here. So let's get into it. First thing we're gonna have to do is go into our auth provider configuration. And here we're gonna add in, I wanna do Twitch. So it's as easy as just replacing this with Twitch provider. And then we're actually gonna just Oops, sorry, it's from Twitch. Then we're just gonna actually copy all of this. And instead of GitHub provider, we're gonna use Twitch provider. And for our client ID and client secret, we're gonna actually just swap these to Twitch client ID. And we'll just change this to Twitch client secret. And where this comes from is our Nux config. Um, We'll just do the same here. We'll do Twitch. And here's one. And there's actually one more place we need to change this, which is going to be on our env, env file. So these will be a Twitch and Twitch. Over here, let's actually go and get these values. So you need to go to dev.twitch.tv and then you're gonna have to sign in if you haven't and then go to your console. Let me zoom in for you. And let's go ahead. Clearly I've played with this a bit. I've built, I've been building some apps here on the Twitch API. But here I'm gonna just call it Nuxt Auth Tutorial and then the redirect is going to be um, so our website uh, for now it's localhost 3000 and then we're going to add slash API oops and then category we'll just call this website integration great and now if we click manage Here's our client ID that we can swap out here. And then if we go back, click I'm not a robot. Oh yeah, here we go, new, new secret. And here's our Twitch client secret. Great, cool. Now we're all set up. Okay, so now that we have that, let's um, go into our logging component. And this, I think, this is where we're going to do the fetch request. And so we can do a const data, and then I'm gonna cast this to the providers. Because await use fetch of API slash auth slash, oops, providers. And now what does this look like if we just Let's just do it here. We're going to put our new provider variable into a pre tag and see what that looks like. Do a refresh and voila. So these are our providers that we're able to iterate through using um, NextAuths or NuxAuths generated endpoint. And here we have GitHub and here we have Twitch. 
So it's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do next is actually just iterate over them. And again, now we have GitHub and we have Twitch. For now, I'm going to just ignore this component we have um, just for, uh, um, just to get this working, really. Um, and so the way I'm going to do that, I'm actually, I want to see what the GitHub login does. So it's just going to, what we want here is the sign in of the provider's name, I believe. And so actually, let's rename this. Let's reuse this component, but we're gonna rename it. Instead of GitHub login, we'll call it provider login. And we can do a props. Oops, is it define props? And what does this take, I believe? So what I'm gonna want here is a couple of things, mostly just a provider name. Let's so we can do provider name is type string. Sorry, string. And that should be good for now. And we'll replace this with provider name. And we'll replace this with provider name as well, but we're gonna actually to lowercase it um, because previously it was a lowercase GitHub. But if you see on our here, they're, they default to um, uppercase. Um, okay, so then we have this provider login and we can just iterate here and then do Provider name is equal to provider.name. And let's see how that looks. Now we've logged in with GitHub, log in with Twitch. For now, I'm gonna just comment out the icon. So log in with GitHub, log in with Twitch, and I'm gonna actually put these into a flex. Class flex. How's that look? And a gap. Mm, you know what? I'll do justify between. Yeah, that's good enough. And let's see here. So we're gonna do the original behavior, login with GitHub. Looks good. And let's try login with Twitch. And now, we're able to log in with Twitch. It should send us right back to protected. Oops. Let me fix that. Uh, VLS. There we go. And yeah, perfect. Uh, and if we go to token, we can now see, it's kind of hard to tell, but I believe this is my Twitch icon. Um, let's sign out, let's go back to login, and let's just see, I want to just kind of prove to you that this is Twitch. I just, so log in with Twitch again, yep, id.twitch, great, and let's log in with GitHub this time. Doesn't show it, but should be good to go. Okay, great. So just to reflect, we added a new provider here, our Twitch provider. And then alongside that, we actually am using the auto-generated providers endpoint to then iterate over each provider, in this case, Twitch and GitHub to generate some um, dynamic sign-in and uh, yeah, sign-in buttons. And now we can say login with Twitch, login with GitHub, it's all good. One thing I would like to do is add this icon, but it's probably dynamically add this icon. 
um, but that's probably out of the scope of this tutorial. So for now, I'll just leave it as to be. Cool. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.